Hey. It's Laura Helen, aka Mummy, Forever Family, Forever Free. And David, aka Daddy, A31designs.com. <laughs> hey. Hi. Where are we now? So we are continuing to talk about our road trip from Miami to Las Vegas. Yesterday our video cut off, it all went a bit wrong after Houston. A few so technical gonna, hitches. So we're going to start from, we're going to leave off from there. Because after Houston we went to, was that straight up? Was that Amarillo? Amarillo, went to Amarillo. Which was a crazy long drive. Super fun. No, it was, not, it was after we finished Houston Space Centre. It was about a couple of hours to Amarillo. And then we stopped there the night. Okay, because we finished in the Houston castle. in the castle, in a castle motel. <laughs> quality, quality. And um, yeah, so we come from there, we stayed in Amarillo. And then the next day, we was heading towards the Grand Canyon. And that was 12 hours? I think it was 12, a long drive. 13 hours. We, stops off. we knew it was going to be a long day. We um, left early, had breakfast on, on the way, then we sort of drove a bit more. Had some lunch, drove a bit more, had some dinner, drove a bit more. But we got just, to see so much of the US. There was. We were watching tumbleweeds, which to us was just like you saw movies. Yeah. So to see these tumbleweeds Going coming across Texas. the road was pretty crazy. And just the vast... Just, Openness, dry desert yeah. land. And, but they had the big rocks as well. Big we were literally made rocks. some videos that we posted friends. Just like 30 second clips of the... Out the window. Of this massive openness, the sun was blazing, the tumbleweeds across the road it was really cool. Yeah, and so, and we was watching them go across, and even drove over one and got cu caught underneath the car and it made <laughs> hell of a noise <laughs> really big. all the way through. All the way through, we had to stop and get it out. It was so drag the thing underneath. I was worried it's gonna like catch a like it was hot yeah. and dusty, hot and dry <laughs> and dusty twigs underneath the hot exhaust. But the later the day got, the cooler it got, the more we drove, the cooler it got. Before we knew it, we were in a full-on snowstorm. Well, yeah, we went to go over a bridge, and there was a truck tipped over with the wind on the beginning of the bridge because the wind and everything was just so crazy. And I'm glad he was not on the bridge properly because that could have been horrific. Yeah, but he'd tipped on the thing, and then as we pulled off into the garage because we just needed fuel, all these trucks were coming in and just coming in for the night, and we were like, "Ah, oh, hotel's probably going to get there." Yeah, and so sort of another hour. Well, yeah. probably it would have been an hour, but it ended up taking us two hours because we were having drive through snow. Yeah, it was. And it was like to get to that one. And it's so close, it makes the Keep... the next day better for us. Yes, and, and so the Grand Canyon was five minute drive from to get into the actual place. It's five minutes away, so that's why we chose that hotel. So we kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. And, Bearing uh, in mind we'd left in the sunshine and we're in shorts and t-shirts. So we get to the hotel. Laura jumps out of the car. I go and check in. Check in, in her shorts, and they must be like... He's going to get the plug so it doesn't come. Just getting the plug so it doesn't come off. Hey, Stephen. Hope you're doing good. So just talking about when we drove all the way from Amarillo to the Grand Canyon and how much the weather changed. It went from tumbleweeds and blazing sunshine to like knee-deep in snow, freezing cold. Bearing in mind we travelled in shorts and t-shirt. It was the craziest journey ever. 
people thought we were nuts. And the next day we had to wrap up like proper little snowmen. Just the Grand Canyon was covered in snow. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I can't imagine that many people have seen the Grand Canyon covered in snow. It was just outstanding. Lots of pretty pictures. We saw deers out on the roads and the Grand Canyon. It's so hard to try and describe what you see when you go to the Grand Canyon. It's so vast. It's so deep. It's just amazing to see all those different rock colours and formations. That's not going to work. Why? Because I've got my thing on the back. So they're trying to get a charger. Oh. Use our family pack. So, um, yeah, that was truly incredible. Uh, well worth it to anyone. If you're going to go as close as Vegas, make the extra day trip and go visit the Grand Canyon. Even the kids were blown away. My little boy loves collecting stones and rocks. So to learn all about the different layers, millions and millions, and is it billions? I think it's 18 billion years, years old. worth of layers of rock and to be able to be talked through it. The rangers were brilliant. The kids had these be a part ranger pack things where they had to go and find out certain things and attend the ranger kind of trainings where they talk you through all the stuff. I found it fascinating too. And the kids learned so much, they absolutely loved it. So they've got their little park ranger badges they're super proud of. They learned about the rock formation. They learned about how turned up and muddy and stony the river is that goes through it because you had a bottle of the water from the river and um, it looked like chocolate milk. It was like so thick and full of... That's how it's cutting through because it's just churning all this mud and stone all the time. 70 million years old. 17 million years yeah. old. Oh, you're only a year, one billion year out. Yeah. <laughs> That's not too bad. No, just numbers, just numbers. <laughs> the kids really got that right. Yeah. The kids learn so much better than we do. But that was really fantastic. If you're going to go all the way out to Vegas, I highly recommend you stop off at the Grand Canyon awesome day awesome really night. incredible it was so good ended with a hot chocolate oh it got cold and then obviously we went off to vegas stayed in the most incredible place the Beautiful. MG mgm grand that's it mgm grand MGM hotel grand. and casino what to get to the car park to the hotel whoo that was the mission but it was so beautiful And I'm going to plug this because we're on. My little boy, because um, he made this when he's...